Thank you. I have to appreciate a lot from your side, Oko. You are being here, and most it is my first time to go have arrived before you, sir. I do appreciate a lot for the services you have been adding for the community. And my wife, you have been with you, sharing a lot in faith for God. So she has decided to welcome me to over at least a look at your site, the site where you are offering a very good prayer for the, this community. And the, being the fact that you have been surrendering the, the good services to the community, then the entire congregation which comes from Oyugis have been hearing a lot from there. So it's, it's my good wish and beloved to, see, to come before you. And it is the day that I was supposed not to be here because I'm one of the employees working with the county government of Home, the Department of Engineering Public Works. You are part of the engineering engineering okay. in Oma Bay County. Oma Bay County. You work with the county government. You have been uh, hearing about the gospel in the gospel that we have been offering to your So your wife used to come here. Ah, uh, here she is before me. Oh. <laughs> Karib. Mamleta baba. Mamleta. Unataka nini leo? Uh, what I'm yearning for of the day first I want you to pray for my family which is likely to be breaking up so I've surrendered my faith I'm trying to at least share with my mom I, there is something that happened before me but I'll, we shall share with you at length because you know family issues or disputes some has two questions yeah between her and, and myself. Mama, ulipo kuja hapa muliko pa moja? Atu kuwa pa moja. Amu kuwa pa moja? Baada ya maombi mukarudiana? No, I'm still renting my house. You are still? I've rented my house. Yampata? Nimesema nime rent nyumba yangu. Umemleta? Nimemleta ombewe. Lakini amuja kaa pa moja? Yeah, to keep a manja. But ah. I used, to, uh, I sometimes used to go to his house and come back. Amu kuwa pa manja. Yeah, to. But in sometimes ana kujia kuako na natoka. Let me say uh, in a summary plot before you. We were, we have been living together for 14 years. Amen. So there is something that happened between I and her, which is too confidential. We could be able just to share before you when we are together last sunday nilikuwa na mtu aliyeua mke wake na akaongea kwa media na munga kamsame na alikuja na familia wao na wakabarikiwa na wakaenda nimekuwa na mtu aliyeiba na mwezake aliwawa na ye kesha haki haka ingia hapa na munga kamsame na haka okoka hapa badu yuko wa hai juzi jana usiku Chief akani pigia simu, akanambia asante uyo muta ameoko kandani ya kanisa, maisha yake yako salama. Yes, thank you. So, so, akuna kitu unazasema kwamba, hii ni confidential. Mbele ya mungu, ya ibishe, ubebe nyota yako na wende. Let me carry on, let me carry on. So, I've been crying for her, so that she could be able to forgive me. And she is not ready to forgive me. Amen. So we have been so much divided with our reign of thought. Ukuna watoto? No. Hakuna. Amuna watoto? Thank you. Mami, alewa mwingine haka kuwacha? Bona hale kuwacha? Ok, mi ni kuna 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 watoto wa wili mwacha mali nilitoka sasa vile nilikucha kwake akanza hiyo janja akaenda nje ya ndoa mimi nikamwacha unatamani niwasaidie ha ndio nitawasaidia ile injili mnaisikia pasta kila kanahubiri na watu wanafurahia ni yo pasta kila kanasimamanga na ukweli bila ukweli huyu Mungu wangu ataama na sitamuona Amen. Mpe Yesu makofi mazuri.
Ulioleka wapi na ukatoka? Sikuoleka. Ulikuwa wapi? Ni. Na watoto wawili. Okay, mtoto mmoja ni wake ambaye tuko naye saa hizi. Na huyu wangu niliachia babake. Tuliishi na yeye kama tuko na ule mtoto. Babake yupi huyo? Hapana, tulikuwa tunakaa na yeye kama niko na ule mtoto na sikumwambia ni wangu. Nilikwanga na mwambia ni wasisi wangu. But baadaye bila alianza kuleta ujanja nikamwambia because yeye pia alioa bila kuniambia. So after four years Uliza uliza na nani? Huyo alikuwa alikuwa tu friend. A friend. Yes. Kwa kama bado niko shule. Kamwachia mtoto wako. Eh tuliishi na huyo mtoto tukikuwa na huyu baadaye nikampeleka. Kampeleka wapi? Kwa babake. Babake yupi? Ule ni boyfriend. Yes. Kati yako na huyu nitawasaidia nani anawatatiza nani mbaya nani mzuri Bado Kati yako na huyu nitakusaidia nani ni mbaya na nani ni mzuri Umesikia Na nani anatatiza hii ndoa na nani anatamani ndoa yake Mtoto wa kwanza uelezana na boyfriend Mtoto wa pili ukazana na nani hapa na wa pili sijazaa. Uko na mtoto mmoja. Wa pili ni wake tunaishi na Yesu hizi. Wa pili umezaa na nani? Niko na mmoja. Na huyo wake nani amezaa? Muulize. Ni muulize wewe ujui. Bwana <laughs> sifiwe. Nataka niwasaidie mkitoka hapa mmesaidika because la sivyo mtaishi mkiwa mnagombana na mjii mnaenda wapi baba huyu mtoto ni wa nani uko nayo ni yangu uweze uzaa peke yako bila mke yeah uliza na nani tulikuwa na mwenzake yeah alinipata na yeye mtoto baba yes sir sasa yule uliishi na mke ama nani mkazana naye? Yale yule alikuwa rafiki yangu nilizana naye. Alafu aliniwacha mtoto mmoja ambaye nilizana naye. Sasa alinipata na yule mtoto. Baadaye nilioa huyo. Sasa the thing he watch which happened. Which was a bit strange and I'll be that's why you, I had some very aesthetic qualities. When we were now divided in opinion when i went to remarry somebody behind her we had a very big division between the two parties so ironically of late is when i realized that kumu there was a certain lady the, the child that was i she, she told me she, she belongs to one of our sisters i that lived with that sisters of hers baba Yes. Ulioa mara ya kwanza na ukazaa mtoto na huyo mke. No. Amu she was a, she, was a, she was a good a girlfriend. A girlfriend. Yeah. Si, Mimi si, ile ukweli mtaniambia utaweka uhuru. Msiponiambia ukweli, nitaenda na hiyo barabara Mungu asiponiambia ukweli. Sasa let me assume that I would first married a certain lady, woman. Ha? I first married a first woman. Nikazaa na ye lakini tuliwachana because of some man ulioa mke wa kwanza mkazaa naye mkaachana eh yeah. yeah. alafu aliniwache mtoto mwanangu ulioleka na mkaachana sikuoleka ulikuwa na girlfriend boyfriend yes mkazaa na yeye yes okay huyo mtoto yuko wapi kuna babake na unaongea na yeye eh naongea naye kupitia kwa nani tunaongea kwa simu kupitia kwa nani? Nani mwenye simu? Babake. Babake. Yes. Babake ame, ameoa? E, ameoa. Na mtoto wako analelewa na mwanamke mwingine? Yes. Na unaongea na huyu mzee kwa simu? Mm, na muitisha tu mtoto na tunaongea. Na mtoto anapokuja kwako yeye pia anakuja? 
Hakuji. Mtoto anakujaje kama hakuji? Mtoto ni mkubwa mtu wa class 6 anayesaidia. Nani anamsomesha? Ni babake. Nani alisema ukizaa na boyfriend boyfriend achukue mtoto asomeshe? Kwani mimi pastor Gila kabla sijaokoka si nilikuwa na girlfriend? Si mimi ni mwanadamu. Nikisema pastor Jacqueline huyu girlfriend nilizaa na yeye sasa huyu mtoto ah atabewe atakaa na mtoto kweli? Pati nzuri siku zaa nje mimi. Hata 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 mlemavu siku zaa nje. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Lakini tuseme nimezaa nje, nimletee pastor Jacqueline atachukua. Alafu pastor Jacqueline akizaa nje, aniletee hapa kanisani saini, pia ni mtoto wangu ni introduce na nyinyi, mtakubali? Na mimi anaponiletea mtoto ambaye, okay. Nikipata pastor Jacqueline anaongea na boyfriend wake wa kitambo, mahali alipeleka mtoto Nitamuonaje mimi pastor Gila. Mimi nawasaidia tu. Jambo la kwanza ulikuwa na boyfriend mkazaa. Ulipooleka na huyu ukachukua mtoto ukaregesha kwa boyfriend. Sasa uko na yeye na boyfriend pia anaongea na wewe. Uko na yeye na boyfriend pia mnaongea na yeye. Anafikiria anasomesha mtoto boyfriend pia anachangia mtoto. Yes, yeah, someshi wa mtoto. Hii kitu ilianza hivi. Nani anasomesha mtoto? Baba yake. Baba yake ni nani? Boyfriend si baba yake mtoto. Boyfriend aliyefanya accident kwako. Aliyefanya accident wezi kumpenda. Unless alikuwa bwanako na umekataa kusema. Hapana sijaolewa. Hiyo How comes unakuwa Una communicate na boyfriend. Na boyfriend na shaa owa. Ok, u mtoto alikuwa na kaa nyumbani kwetu. But, uyu vila alianza akenda kuniolea mwingine. Nikaona nirudishe, yeye pia endelea na maisha ya. Kasuweke sauti kama hii toke pa. Ya uyu itoke, tafadhali. Mekata. Hai. Nangani. Nasema. Nasema. U mtoto sikuwa... Hapa wali sikuwa nimepelekea babake. Alikuwa nyumbani. Kwa shosho kwa nyumbani. Sasa vile huyu aliamua saizi vile tunawangea meowa mtu mwingine. Na anasaidia watoto wa huyo mama. Sasa mbini kawana kama meondoka hamenda kuhua huko inje. Mi pia nirudisha mtoto nyumbani. Sabu wawisi sasa kunisapota na sapote huyu mtu. Usionge kwa huyu kwanza. Mm. Nataka nionge juu yako. Huyu mm. yako na yake nitakuja. Wewe ulipo saa na boyfriend. Na boyfriend asha owa. Kwa nini unatatiza ndowa yake? Unaregesha mtoto kwa ketema? Lengo lako ni nani nini? Nye ndi aliitisha. Alikuanga naitisha. Ok. Unampenda uyu? Ndiyo. Ambona ulikuwa naishi inje na e? Hmm? Mbona ulikuwa naishi kando na e? Naishi kando sababu. Alikuwa naniacha hapo. Anenda kwa ule mwana mke wake. Anani danganya danganya. Suwepe ule mnyanganya mzoto ukapelekea boyfriend? Siku mnyanganya. Hey, mshawiri sadikile ni ngumu. <laughs> Mpe yesu makofi. Mke wa kwanza alipo toka kwa uyu. We ule ingia kwa indowa. Wewe ndio mzuri. Ndiyo. Pardon? Muke wa kwanza alioa na muke wake akaenda. Ni sawa. Ukapata mtoto kwa hii ndoa. Mm. Unalea mtoto mwenyewe. Ndio. Mwenyewe akirudi. Mwenyewe akirudi. Mimi nilishaondoka kwa hiyo ndoa. Unampenda? Unampenda lakini sina vile nifanye. Ha? Ninampenda but sina vile nifanye. Juu yeye pia alishachiamulia. Hauna nini? Vile nasafanya hiyo upendo wenye nampenda naye. Ushaondoka kwake? Eh mimi nimerend peke yangu naishi peke yangu. 
Na unatamani murudiane tena? Hastaki kuoleka. Hautaji kuoleka. Mm. Msikia vile amesema. Mwanamke yeyote ambaye anaoleka hapa anatoka, anaoleka hapa anatoka, unatembea na talaka nyuma yako. Ta. Ukisasa na maisha unasema sitaki mwanaume sitaki ndoa na sitaki kuzaa aishi peke yangu Pasta ambaye anafanya huduma hapa inanguka pale inanguka pale inanguka anasema sitaki huduma na sitaki niitwe pasta Wacha niishi na maisha yangu Huyu huyu hapa anastahili kutafuta mke wake aliyemwacha mtoto Na wewe pia ungoje ndoa yako uoleke. Hata nikuwaunganisha baba, akupendi. Akupendi. Roho yake yuko kwako. Cha uchungu ni kwamba ulimshughulikia na alikula pesa zako wakati huo. Sasa sara iko juu yako. Uliacha mke wako wa kwanza na aliyekuwa cha mtoto ukachukua huyu na ananidanganya na yule waliishi na ye waliishi na yule na ananidanganya may i speak before you sir ask me no both of us are wrong both of us are sinners why can't, may i state can't two wrongs may i to, may i state huh? may i st- may i be able to elaborate that place Elaborate. If you can allow. Elaborate. Here is a case where we got married. We stayed I stayed with her for this is my 14th year. We are married. And I lived with that the child of her sister. Whom she's talking about? The, she they say she told me the lady the boy was your, was your first wife. No, just a, may I be a you, Let me ask you. Yes. Mke wako wa kwanza ni dadake? Hmm? Mke wako wa kwanza? Hmm. Ni dadake? Sio dada yake. I'm saying uh, you have not got me somewhere. Sir. This is what I'm t- I want to state very correct. I've been uh, we live together with the, with the, my wife whom she is. For about it was we took about two years then the the person whom she is talking about that had a, that she had a child that child with me she we stayed with that child for almost two years again together we were living with that child while i knew that child belonged to her sister so when we now when now when i wanted to marry again late of this about one two years now Juicy, juicy about some few, about three months now, which I've taken. The, the, that one for when the, the child had been taken back to the, her grandma. So her mother's home. I never knew the child belongs to her. It's now about three months old. Is when I'm, she, was, she was trying to say that. That why we had a, Muliachana. No, tuliwachana kwa sababu ya mambo yake. Na alikuwa na watu alienda na watoto wangapi? No, moja, no, alienda tu moja, aliniwacha na mama. Alikuachia moja. Moja. Ndio uko nayo. Ndio niko nayo. So this child here which I'm talking about. This child is not yours. Was not mine. So wachana na hii kwanza. No, let me state there is something which I wanted to say. Unaniambia makosa ya huyu, si ndio? Let me be elaborated here what was here. I stayed with this child again. Well, I knew that child belonged to her sister. He is now when about 14 years. After 14 years, is now when now I wanted to remarry another wife behind her. Is now when I'm hearing that nilikuwa na mtoto mmoja fulani. Uliona mtoto ambaye ulikuwa naye hapa for about 2 years. Nikastuka. Ati yule alikuwa mtoto yangu. Unaona? After 14 years. So I was so much flabbergasted. I was so much amazed. I was surprised. Now, 
I thought it wise when we sat together. I, ne, I was ex, expecting some challenges. Kama inewezekana. Unajua kana umweka pamoja. Alikuwa anashika shika. Ana? Alikuwa anashika shika. Unajua anakuwa ana, anashika mumba. Alafu inikuwa anatoka. Anashika mimba inatoka. Ha, inatoka. Uyu. Yes, they say the truth. Uyu. Apo, yeah, uyu. Sasa ah, nilikuwa tu. Nikuleze. Unajua hii nini? Nikuleze. Yeah. Tuende pale pale. Nani mwenye mtoto? Mtoto yupi ama gani? Uyu mtoto ambaye anasema ameleo kwa boyfriend. Babake ni nani? Sasa hii ndio unasikia ati Aliza alikuwa ali, ali nafikira rafiki yake. Na alipo alipomleta kwako alisema ni nani? Akusi niambia ni mtoto yake. Alikuwa ananiambia ni mtoto ya msisa yake. Wewe hujui mpango si wa ngojea. Ujui mpango wakanda hata kuambia ukweli. Unafikira naye kupanga kimaisha atakwambia ukweli? Waulize wa mama aliyopelekwa hapa Soneka Yugis pale na ukimwambia bwana nipeleke kwenu anasema kwetu hakuna mtu watu walikufa wote. Na muda inasonga na mnazaa na mnazaa kitambo zao watoto sita unasikia kuna mke kuna mke wake nyumbani mpango wa kando hata kwambia ukweli hakuna kama ni mume atakudanganya kama ni mke atakudanganya hakuna ukweli sasa ni raisha kwambie huyu mtoto si wangu ni wa dadamu Una, un, unajua sasa hii nimesa uchungu nimesa peleka hata ngombe zangu kwao Unapeleka ngombe kwao na anakuambia mtoto si wake ni ya dadake because anajua babake mtoto. Hiyo ndio uchungu. Nikiwaambia mke wako yule unayemwona atakataka ndiye atakuzika ka na mke wako wa kwanza. Hao na waona hapa nitakataka watakuchezea karata wa utaenda sara sara sara. Imagine anakuambia mbele yangu kwa madhibao kwamba hakutaki na hataki murudiane atakaishi peke yake na ulipeleka ngombe because haki yako ulitupa mke wako ulitupa hawa wanakulanga na wanaenda wakishiba anakuambia sina haja na wewe Na nishawahi sema mara mingi sana nikileta pasta mwingine saa hii hapa nitamweka hapa ashikilie ibada nikiwa siko nikirudi na mwambie out ni wapi yeah. ka pale mwenye mboma imerudi yeah. Si yule alikuwa na moderator hapa mwenye mboma mwenye mboma ndio huyu sasa ameketi chini na mfundishi yeah. Ukipenda mwenye Ukipenda kayataka kuliko mwenye boma hujapenda kitu kwa hiyo kanisa. Ukipenda huyu mwenye boma utapenda mpaka kayataka. Sasa hiyo ndio utamu ya wanaume wanaovuruga wake zao wanaenda wanalia nje na wanachukua mipango waka. Amekudanganya na kupenda umepeleka mahali. Nimemuuliza ukisikia anasema hana haja na wewe. Na naomba usikasirike hata toni. Ni Mungu amekufunulia ukaja hapa. Ili maisha yako yawe sawa, usije ukapoteza. Mimi sijasema sina acha na yeye. Nimekuuliza unadharuliana na yeye ukasema utakuishi peke yako. Au. Kama una haja na yeye utaishi peke yako hivyo hivyo. Ungeniambia unataka kuolewa tena nikasema sitaki kuolewa na ukaniuliza unampenda wewe nikamwambia ndiyo. kwa hivyo unaona kitu ilifanya ni mwache sijamwaja vile unafikiria huyu sawa sasa nani amekuongelesha ukasema sawa <laughs> yeye anaongea amekwambia okay <laughs> Huyu ni yule ile pasta kila kulisikia bari yake. Okay. Na nyorosha vizuri kila mmoja aende kwa laini yake. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Na nakwambia ukweli hata mkidharau hii statement yangu kesho mtasema pasta ulinisaidia na nilikata kusikia. Mahari sio ndoa. Ukipata roho yake ndio ndoa. 
umesikia akisema kwamba anatamani kuishi peke yake si ndio ameanza ku apologize sasa mimi mbe said apologize na wewe ni mume wa mtu just forgive nikimsamea aende aoleke kwingine wewe uende uchukue mke wako aja leo mtoto nyumbani hiyo ndio msamaa amen huyu aende kwa ndoa yake uende utafute mke wako ulipeleka mpaka mahali baba tuongee tu sasa nataka nikuongeleshe kama mwana sasa na hivyo bado anakukataa unambembeleza unamwomba msamaa vile umesema bado anakukataa na ushapeleka mahali kwao muuliza yeye ni muuliza kama amenikata mimi hata sipo kukataa ninawakataa nyota muishi pamoja we chukua mke wako rudi kwa nyumba it depends with what she did with what no, she everything did. has a historical background unaona huyu baba huyu atakopeleka sara atakupa machungu kuliko yule wa kwanza na zanekanawa huyu atakupa machungu kuliko yule wa kwanza uliyomkataa ninaweza nikanawa hawa watu nataka niwanisauri lakini kusema ukweli huyu atakupa machungu huyu hana roho ya kukaa na wewe na shaka na mume Yula na ito baba mtoto ni bwanake sio boyfriend I see I don't depend on the statement of her Ukiona hii chuma ilikata mwenyewe wewe utanyorosha hiyo chuma Jana nikaambia mtu hapa ukiona pastor Jacqueline anahubiri hapa kila siku anahubiri hapa nimemnyorosha na mnyorosha mimi ukimwona hapa hey beautiful lady anakemea 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 muulize mwenyewe nimemnyorosha kiasi gani ndio apate hii injili ashawahi beba mpaka virago zake anaenda kwao nikampata fungu ya gari nenda salama akabwaga fungu akaniregeshia kama mimi siendi ukiona anakemea kemea kusanya 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 Usifurahie huduma, furahia mali ametokea. Nimemnyorosha na huduma mpaka kakasirika. Amen. Ni chuma yangu ninamjua na kona zote, we ujui. Nikikupa hautakaa na e, mimi najua kukaa na e. We pia ukiniambia nasema in the name of Jesus. Usipende pastor kila kangekuwa bwanangu ningefurahia. Si angekuwa bwanangu. Mm-mm. Kuna mama fulani amekaa na mimi na nanijua kukuliko. Unaelekea kuzeeka hauna mtoto hata mmoja ni yule wa mke wako wa kwanza ni uko naye Muda yako inaisha unaweza fanya hapo kwa kaunti mpaka ukaishiwa na pesa zimeisha na huyu pia ameenda zake na una hata mtoto hata ngapi Mpango wa kando anakula na kutoka pa anakula na kutoka pa akai akai ndio huyo 100% hii ni biblia baba anatamani mtengane hapo hapo 100% anatamani mtengane hapo hapo that is why maneno haya yanakuuma na yeye aweze kumuuma mulisema juzi dereva ati ati nini dereva nini makanga <laughs> ha conductor na driver niliona mkiongea hapa kwa tiktok nini nini driver nini conductor zianguke zote hmm. mkeo wa kwanza ndio mkeo wa pili ana, ni wa hasara tu ni wa hasara tu Huyu mwanamke wa kwanza uko namba yake? No, sina. Au oh. and I do according to what she did to me I, I can't do. Alifanya nini? Hebu nieleze. Hmm? Alikufanya nini? Eh? 
ya kwanza alikuwa na alipenda na wanaume alikuwa anahanya hanya hakuwa anakaa kwa nyumba ulisikia huyu ako na namba ya boyfriend mpaka leo nimesikia huyu nimesikia so tabia zake ni za kama yule yule ama ni tofauti hakuna tofauti kuna tofauti yeah, but that have to say what, what is the exactly true aya pili ya pili ananipenda na mpenda yeye sana no makosa ya yule makosa ya yule makosa ya mke wako wa kwanza ni makosa gani unajua umeniambia jambo la kwanza alipenda wanaume yeah which means a prostitute e ya pili ya pili hakuwa na alikuwa kabila fulani kabila fulani lakini alikuwa na tabia ta ya tatu no alikuwa ya ta, alikuwa na nini tu makosa mbili makosa mingi she was so totally disciplined alikuwa she was a tatu. prostitute na alikuwa Haku. another tribe no being the fact that she was another tribe was not a, an issue but alikuwa na piga kitu tunasema mmoma alikuwa na tabia mbaya mbaya kwa nyumba alikuwa anataka kupigana na mimi hata kama amefanya makosa kwa sababu alikuwa anakunywa hata pombe unajua situmia sijawahi tumia pombe sikujua unajua hivyo maandiko yanasema ya kwamba mwanaume anayeacha mke wake na anaenda kwa mwingine anafanya uzinifu kwa hivyo kama mke wako alikuwa mzinifu we pia unafanya uzinifu na huyu Kama unanipenda utapenda ushauri wangu. Kama upendi ushauri wangu wa Mungu wangu hautanipenda. Unajua kuna Hawa wote wakipenda Mungu wangu na ushauri wangu watanipenda. Asiyependa Mungu wangu na ushauri ambao nampatia huyo mtu anipendi. Sasa mimi niko na mke mmoja, sina wanawake wawili, niko na mmoja. Nikimwacha nikachukua mwingine ni uzinifu maandiko yanasema hivyo Ulipoacha mke wako wa kwanza ukachukua huyu ni roho ya uzinifu ili kuingilia Solomon aliongeza wanawake mia saba na nikisoma vitabu vingine ni sio mia saba peke yake Na anapomaliza kuandika kitabu cha Ecclesiastes anasema life is useless useless and useless na wao wanawake wote hapo wana furaha Daudi akaongeza mwanamke Betseba, Mungu akakasirika akamuliza Daudi, si ungeniambia hata kama unataka ni kuongeze, kwa nini uchukue mtu umuue mtu umzike? Umefanya kisiri, mimi nitafanya wazi kwako. Watu wataona mchana. Na hicho kitendo kilifanya Mungu akakataza Daudi asijenge kalu. Akaambia kuanzia leo hautajenga hekalu na tafuta mwingine. Huyu ako na mtoto ambaye ako na babake. Na huwa anasema kila siku huyu wakati yule mtoto anaongea na babake hautajua. Wende uko kazini hautajua. Because anajua si wako na mtoto asiyokuwa trend, anajua we ni yanko. Anaongea na babake saa ikifika ukija kwa nyumba kila moja kimia. Ukitoka wanaongea na baba. Wewe unasomesha mtoto wa mtu waenda sara. Angalia ile muda uko nayo sahi. Ungekuwa na mtoto, una miaka mingapi? Watoto. Watoto umenishinda. Msichana wangu yako university, ako ako form 4. Wewe hauna. Ha? Hapo na maliza form 4. Si wako, wewe funga mdomo, si mtoto wako. Uya ana Sara. Video kama ni yes. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> Naomba leo muachane hapo. Urudi kwa ndoa yako. Aende aoleke kwingine. Amina. Amen. Na si atanaoleka kwingine, arudi kwa ndoa yake. Huyu alioleka. Uko na swali? Muuliza yeye kama anataka kufanya hivyo. Acha nimuulize. Umekubali kumwacha aende kwa ndoa yake? 
Mimi nilisha mwacha ende kwa ndoa yake. Amen. Nimeinua Biblia nimekwambia haya maneno ninasema saa hii ame support 100% yanakuuma wewe peke yako. Yeye ame support. Na umesikia amekwambia uende kwa ndoa yako. Ha? Kama ndoa yake iko aende kwa sababu kuna sababu pia mimi imenitoa. Sio kama ndoa yako iko. Si unajua mtoto wake ako form 4? Eh? Unajua mtoto wake ako form 4? Aa, kuna mwenye alijua. Unajua mtoto wake ako class? <laughs> Mimi huwezi kunichezea karata. Class 7. Ule mwenye aliniambia sijai mwana but kuna mwenye. Hii umenambia kwa form 4 ni wanani? Alishamaliza form 4 but ni wanani? Wake. Okay. Wewe ni mbaya, acha kukula ndoa za watu. Unaona anacheka, anacheka. Na kanya kila mmoja, please. Ah watu wakiingia kwa ndoa yako hata ukunye sumu hawana asara. Yule ambaye atazika akiwa na asara ni yule mke wa kwanza peke yake. Mke wa pili hana asara. Hata ukia pale kwa jeneza hana asara. Utasomesha watoto wa watu mpaka lini na huko za Si upige hesabu huyu mtoto si wangu na nakula pesa zangu kwa shule si niachana na yeye ni, 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 ni someshe damu yangu yes. Uyu vile mimba zake zinatoka haujui Nimeongea kwa ufupi nimekuacha na hapo Vile mimba zinatoka haujui Ye yeah, anajua Mtoto ambaye unatamani kusomesha pia anajua mali anataka naende ashamchukua kwako ashampeleka kwa si uombe Mungu unioregeshe mke wako roho ya uzinifu toke kwako na itoke kwa mke wako na ndoa ipone mtoto awe na wazazi wake huku <laughs> utaenda sana kitambao kwambie mbele yangu kwamba urudi kwa ndoa yako roho iko na hata angesema anatamani kukaa na wewe ningekataa because anakupoteza mimi kama pasta sitakubali upotezwe mpe Yesu makofi mazuri Na amini nimewasaidia. Nani ya kuna suwali? Suwali meisha. Kuna suwali? Sio suwali but nataka kuongea. Umejua? Labda udani chukulea kwa ubaya hati muka mpango ya kanda ama nini. Siku enye uya alinioa. Haku niambia kuna bibi. Nika kuja. Nika ishi na ee. Ayangojea. Mm. Baba. Baba. Ale, uli mwambia ulikuwa na bibi. Uli pa mwa. Mada. I can't talk, talk much. No. Unajua na hako na time. Niki kusaidia. Niki kusaidia. Sitake kuongea. Niki kusaidia. Mm. Fraia. Wewe we, awacha ya ongea tu. Sitaki kuongea juu ya hiyo ndoa. Niki kusaidia. Hiko na historical background. Huko na? Hiyo kitu. Hiko na hikila kitu hiko na historical background. Na sitaki kubia very narrative. I just brought the summary plot. Hiyo kuhitua hiyo jina. Alinioa. Kuniambia meoa. Sasa padae ndio nika kundua hiyo. Wewe ni mbaya kuliko wata huyo. Tangu wanza kukakwa hii ndoa unalea watuta mbao usio wako. Si ungetoka. Anapeleka mahali kwenu na unaona kuna watoto. Ujui ni watoto wa nani? Alikuwa na mtoto huyo mmoja. Ni wa nani? Nilimuuliza the same. Na unadanganya huyu anapeleka mahali kwenu na mnachukua. Regesha mahali. Demo kweli. Huku jua hawa watoto. Ah ah, sijakupa microphone huko alisema hataji kuongea. Regesha mahali. Hii mambo ya 
Chetani amekalia kwa ndoa za watu. Amekalia toki. Atoki. Almost 90% ya wanao kuja church. Shida za ndoa. Shida za ndoa. Shida za ndoa. Wewe ni mbaya kuliko huyu. Because unakula na una sara. Heri huyu anatoa na kona sara. Nimekula nini basa? Nimekula nini? Ah, ngojia. Mahari ziko wapi? Sumekula? Umejua hiyo mahari hata vile tuli Sikia. Mm. Rudi kwa ndoa yako, uiaende kwa ndoa yake. Kuisha. Mpe Yesu makofi mazuri. Nisikize baba, mimi nimekusaidia. Kitambo uone na ongoza hii kanisa na watu wanajaa mpaka kule nje. Ninashauri mpaka walio na fedha na wasio na fedha, walio na afya, wasio na afya, wasio na kazi, wasio na kazi. Walio wachana miaka 30 wanarudiana tena. Nikipata ndoa iliyo kuvunjika, nitaregesha kwa uwezo wa Bwana mpaka watarudiana. Nikipata mwingine na kula ya mwenzake wataachana hata kama wataki na wakikata nitaomba kinyume mpaka muachane kila mmoja aenda leo watoto wake. Kila moja akunywe maji kwa kisima chake. Because kinachoniuma ni kwamba uenda mke wako ashakuja kwa hii kanisa na akalia hapa madhabahoni anataka ndoa yake. Nikikupa huyu waende na wewe kesho akirudi hapa na hii ni runinga atasema pasta gila niliona ukiombea bwanangu na mke mwanamke mwingine mimi ndio mke wake. Si ni kweli? Nitajibu nini na nikupa runinga? Ishani chafua. So heri uniache lakini imefuata bilibilia. Huyu pia aliye na mtoto wake saa hii anatuona niko kwa TV haiko kishi peke yake iko mpaka Western mpaka Kisumu. Uenda bwanake ako kwa TV ananiangalia sema jamani pasta si Mungu akusaidie tu huyu mwanamke arudi kwa. Nikimkupatia huyu mwanamke kesho atakuja hapa anasema pasta nilikuona ukipeana mke wangu kwa mwingine na mimi ndio nitatoroka hiyo na lazimisha kila moja na regesha kwake in Jesus name